Good morning, my dear students. In today's class, I am going to start Unit 3. Unit 3 is a MTI and Pulse Doppler Radar. Uh, the aim of this unit, the aim of the MTI Radar is to separate moving targets from the stationary targets. And the introduction is the pulse radar that utilizes the Doppler frequency shift for separating moving targets from fixed targets is called a MTI radar. It is also called as a pulse Doppler radar. It will separate the, uh, the MTI radar will separate the moving targets from stationary targets. And we will see the basic operation of the MTI radar. And then continuous wave oscillator uh, which generates a CW signal and it is turns on and off by using a pulse modulator. The transmitted signal frequency is FT and uh, the received signal frequency, the received echo signal frequency is FT plus or minus FT. Because of the target is in moving condition there is a uh, change in frequency. The received echo signal frequency is FT plus or minus FT. In the receiver, we have a mixer. For the mixer, we have to provide uh, two inputs. One is reference signal and another one is the uh, echo signal. And the reference signal is uh, A2 sin 2 pi F1t. And, uh, the echo signal is V echo equal to A3 sin 2 pi F1 plus or minus FD T minus 4 pi F1 R0 by C. This is the phase shift that is caused by the time delay. And these two signals are given to the mixer. The mixer will generate a difference in frequency. Here uh, we in the reference signal frequency is F1 and uh, and in the echo signal the frequency is F1 plus or minus Fd therefore F1 and F1 get cancelled. The difference signal is uh, A4 sin 2 pi Fdt minus 4 pi F1 R0 by C. This is the uh, signal coming from the receiver mixer and uh, suppose if the target is stationary there is a no Doppler frequency shift that means the FD equal to 0 for uh, stationary targets FD equal to 0 if FD equal to 0 this term is 0 we can get only minus 4 pi F1 R0 by C that means entire value is constant that means for stationary targets, the amplitude is constant and for moving targets, FD is a non-zero value and it is also varying from location to location or from point to point so that you can get a variable voltages. For the stationary targets, you get a constant amplitude and for the moving targets, you can get the variable voltages. This is the basic concept for separating uh, moving targets from stationary uh, targets. These are the waveforms uh, observed on the S-scope screen. The received signals, uh, re received V difference signals on the S-scope on each uh, sweep. This is the on the first sweep and this is on the second sweep. And this is on the third sweep. This is on the fourth sweep and fourth time. And so if you observe at the starting pulses, you have to start, uh, you have to see vertically. At the starting pulse, the amplitude is constant for all. That means it is a stationary target. Uh, but ob observe when the arrow mark is there, here the amplitude is very, uh, see vertically, here the amplitude is somewhat low, here somewhat low, here somewhat very somewhat low it, it becomes constant that means here the amplitude is uh, 
not constant it is varying that means it indicating the moving target and in the second arrow mark also if you observe here the amplitude is somewhat high here also very high increases here decreases here constant here decreases that means the amplitude of the the echo signal the difference signal will changes that means it also a uh, moving target if you superimpose the all the sweeps the moving target is appears in the shape of a butterfly it is called a butterfly effect if you superimpose the all the sweeps on the s scope you can get this uh, last figure and moving targets appears as a uh, butterfly shape this effect is known as a butterfly effect the echoes from the fixed targets remains constant throughout but the echoes from the moving target vary in amplitude from sweep to sweep at a rate corresponding to the doppler frequency the superposition of the uh, successive yes scope sweeps uh, will give provide the uh, butterfly effect okay the next concept is mti radar with power amplifier transmitter okay the power amplifier generates a uh, cw signal continuous wave signal and it turns on and off by using a pulse modulator the frequency of this power amplifier is fl plus fc it is generated by the mixer section and in this power amplifier transmitter we are going to use a, a two stable oscillator one is stable oscillator uh, stalo whose frequency is fl and another one another oscillator is coho whose frequency is fc it is equal to the intermediate frequency and the stalo frequency and coho frequency is given to the mixer it will generate sum of frequencies difference of frequencies and version of frequencies and this mixer selects only sum of frequencies it is given as a input to the power amplifier and it act as a transmitted signal therefore the transmitted signal is uh, fl plus fc and uh, uh, we are using a single antenna for transmission and reception so that the duplexer is used the duplexer will return the echo to the uh, receiver not to the transmitter and then the transmitted signal frequency is fl plus fc and the received signal frequency is fl plus fc plus r minus fd plus r minus fd because target is in motion you can get the doppler frequency shift and this receiver mixer having two inputs one is fl plus fc plus r minus fd and another frequency is fl the mixer generates a difference in frequency you can get fc plus r minus fd after mixer we have a if amplifier it allows the intermediate frequency and frequency is nearer to that and this phase detector will uh, uh, will uh, provide the difference in phase between the two inputs and produces doppler frequency shift fd it is used to identify moving targets and stationary target this is about a power amplifier transmitter in the power amplifier transmitter we are going to use two stable oscillator one is stable oscillator stalo and another one is coherent oscillator coho the next concept is mti radar with power oscillator transmitter at the starting stages we have a only magnetron oscillator it is a high power uh, generator but the problem with the magnetron oscillator is here magnetron oscillator is used the problem with the magnetron oscillator is the phase of the rf signal is uh, not in synchronism from pulse to pulse that is the uh, problem and this problem is overcome by by adjusting the phase of the coho at the starting of the each sweep uh, with the phase of the transmitted signal here rf locking pulse 
and stalo is combined in the mixer and it will produces the locking pulse that means the face of the locking pulse is same as that of a, a transmitted pulse that means the face of the coho also same as that of transmitted uh, transmitted pulse in this way the phase uh, synchronism is provided in uh, this uh, power oscillator transmitter okay, this is about today's class thank you very much